Here at the Undercroft in the heart of Cardiff Castle, members of Cardiff University and the company IQE have come together to launch a new technology centre here in the city. Okay, combined semiconductors are part of every, everybody's everyday lives, they, they don't realise it. But they're fundamental to optical fibre communication, so high-speed broadband to their homes. They're fundamental to mobile communications, they're fundamental to satellite TV, uh, to satellites, to many, many aspects of their, of their everyday lives. Uh, so what IQE does is we make the fundamental materials, we ship to our customers who make the chips, and then the chips go into the various devices. So for example, in, an, in, a, in a mobile phone, you have a number of communication devices which connect with your Wi-Fi, connect with your base station, or connect with GPS. They are all using compound semiconductors. You made a good analogy in your, in your speech at the opening there about uh, people using it to get information very quickly and not yeah. realising that they were using them. Yes, it's quite amazing when you think about the communications infrastructure today. You know, if you query something on Google, on your mobile handset, you expect that to, well, the path that it goes through is the communication chips on your mobile phone communicate with the base station, the base station communicates with uh, a transatlantic cable provider uh, through optical fibre network or to a satellite from a base station, uh, the satellite then communicates back down to earth, goes through a data centre, trolls through trillions of bits of information to find the one nugget that you're after, transmits it all back through that, that same network and you expect that to happen in just the blink of an eyelid. Uh, that at every point in that communications chain, compound semiconductors are the key enabling technology. And obviously this partnership today between uh, your company and Cardiff University, the potential must be huge. Yeah, Cardiff University is a great partner because they've got some tremendous uh, innovation, innovative uh, skills there, doing a lot of basic research on compound semiconductors and have a, a long heritage in that. So they're a tremendous partner. And what we want to do with the compound semiconductor centre that we've uh, announced today is to translate all that great uh, innovation and, and, uh, and science into commercial products so that we can actually take advantage of, the, uh, of what Cardiff University has to offer. Now there's lots of great research around. How difficult is it to, to get it into that commercial sector, to get it working and out there? It, it's been very difficult. There's a big gap between industry and the university sector. And it's, it's traditionally been called the valley of death because many companies that spin out of universities, they either run out of cash or they just don't have the resources to be able to translate it into mass, uh, uh, um, mass commercial products. And IQE is already in the industry. We, we uh, sell our products globally. And so the link between Cardiff University and IQE is bridged by this compound semiconductor center, which translates the, the innovative stuff at Cardiff University into products that IQE can sell on the open market. A video was shown at the launch explaining what compound semiconductors are. We're also chartered to provide job creation within uh, Wales and Cardiff. We are really excited about this joint venture with Cardiff University and see it as being a key element in the overall building of this compound semiconductor cluster. And then the Welsh Government's Science and Economy Minister Edwina Hart explained why they're backing this project. Because it's important for us to recognise a small nation, we have to play on our strengths. And our strengths are our universities, and our strengths are some of the industries that are with us. So as far as we're concerned, this is a worthwhile investment that we've undertaken as a government. We think it will go from strength to strength, and it does definitely deserve support, I think, all across, all across Wales. So it's hoped the launch of the new centre here at Cardiff Castle will create new technologies for the future and create jobs here in Cardiff.